Let's stop. Let's just not do it. I'm, Let's just quit yes, the podcast. Dude, yes, dude. I'm done. <laughs> Let's do, that would be awesome. I'm already <laughs> tired. <laughs> of this one. I was gonna say something, and then I decided, not dude. To. Yes, mm-hmm. we can. It can stop whenever <laughs> <laughs> we but have the power. Not yet. I know. We could just like not come up with our own shit. I'm trying to buy a ski resort first, dude. Once you buy property, though, let's call it. Oh yeah, no, let's I'm, put a date on the calendar. Then you have to pay for I the need property. a couple million dollars got a to buy a ski resort. Fuck. You buy the whole thing, turnkey operation. You just live in the lodge. Okay. And that's kind of like my restaurant. Thing. I love that. Uh-huh. That's yeah. cool. A turnkey is nice. You just yeah. show up. They already have the waiters. And then you yeah. schedule a ski well, race I down the mountain. I just come down and there's like a family mm-hmm. there and they're renting equipment. I'm like. One day, the my rich skiing friends will come back and take this mountain away from you, faggot snowboarders. <laughs> and and it's like a man with his like seven year old. <laughs> they're like, "Excuse me, what was that? Like, that guy owns the." Yeah, sorry, he's he, our boss. Sorry, he just say whatever he wants. The mountain, and he has. <coughs> he has. He gets to say slurs he whenever he, he wants. <laughs> If you just pretend we're in an 80s movie, he'll leave you alone eventually. Yeah, I'm just wearing like bright pink, uh, bright pink neon snowsuit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just walking around with like a, a woman that looks like Grace Jones. A clearly trans. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. That's awesome. That's the just best a part. flat yeah. top haircut. Like, come on, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Six foot eight. Are these are these people bothering me? <laughs> <laughs> you just got a fucking jacked girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <coughs> that would be awesome, dude. Yeah, I'd be down. What King kind of, of mountain? What kind of stuff would you got? Would you have like hot cocoa? Of course, right? I love it, dude. Yeah. Every winter, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna drink hot chocolate, and then it's like, hot chocolate's for babies. Yeah. It's not worth it as an adult. But then you have one. I don't have one. And it's not worth it. It's Come just on. like a drink. The baby mallows. Because you know you're just like you're just yeah. You know, how many calories? It's like having a milkshake. I can't do it. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm not think. Come on, you can't be thinking about that type of shit. What are those? I get uh, if I have like some of a milkshake at a diner and the waitress comes these? up mm-hmm. while I'm drinking. I just it. got them. The spirit dons. What are those? They're uh they're actually women's. <laughs> <laughs> they're the uh, f. Oh, for the P six thousands, Nikes, and for I got how, them. How many liters of? Cum? I got them. How many? Hold on. How many liters of cum your pussy can take? Yes, and I got them for metric. <laughs> I got them in a size eleven and a half, which uh-huh. fits me as a ten. Interesting. I'm gonna lose my belt. You're, what, you're wearing a belt. Yeah, I got um these pants. Oh. <laughs> these pants are one size too big on for, uh, by accident. Yeah, let's do a fit check. Let's go around the room and say what we're all wearing. Oh, I'm yeah, wearing, I'm wearing Levi's. the same clothes I was wearing last <laughs> yeah, time you guys saw. He literally saw is. Yep, <laughs> same exact clothes. Uh, the Moleskine. Moleskine. You're wearing, uh, Actually, these are, I put on regular jeans. Mm. The, these came out of the wash already looking like this. Yeah, they look horrible. Those are those <laughs> Levi's commuter jeans, Dude, yes? Five, 5'11s. The 5'11s. Levi's 5'11s is the number one, baby. Mm-hmm. That's your favorite pants? Which, what am I wearing at? Adam, what, what's Let's the, what see. Uh, it looks say? like an ass crack to me. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, what's underneath? What number? Uh, those are. Adam is digging Gucci. into my ass. <laughs> These are Gucci. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Stop! I can't. Look. Why are you touching my asshole? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker touched my nuts. <laughs> From the back. Um, <laughs> Stop. Well, do you want him to tell you what the pants are? I'm trying I do, to find out but it doesn't are. seem like this is part I'm of the pull- <laughs> don't, put, don't put his ass all over my furniture. No, his boxers are touching your furniture. Anyways, yeah, what I was number? A, I was are those Levi's? Those yes. aren't Levi's. Yes, they they don't have the stitching. And there was a huge line, mm-hmm. and we were all waiting in line, everybody. Yeah. And the some guy, like, I don't know, like... A homeless person, mentally mm-hmm. old junkie, who knows? Yeah, that. of course. Real fat, huge guy, like six five. Sounds good. J- morbidly obese, and he's got <laughs> one of those like walkers. You know, sometimes like a little bit of somebody's ass crack will be out. <laughs> his pants were completely down, <laughs> like under his ass. <laughs> 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 and he's just the sl- best, slowly walking in front of the whole line. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, fucking that rocks! rocks. Yeah, his entire, <laughs> his entire, his, his cheeks. whole ass. <laughs> Not even close to just being like you know some of it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, fucking rules. What kind of pants was he wearing? I don't know. He probably dressed exactly like I do. <laughs> so Nixon and Adidas hoodie, dude. I've been so depressed. Tree like, foil I Adidas hoodie. I finally went and got a haircut. And you look like, good. It looks Every nice. Every time I get a haircut, I feel better about myself. You still go to that place on Franklin? Yeah. 
Uh, you're wearing a, a George uh, art by George Halkius. Art by Judgey. Follow him long, on Instagram. Is this a sweatshirt or a long sleeve t-shirt? Long sleeve tee. Long sleeve tee is a good look for the season. I feel like. I think so. I'm wearing a pair of pants. Mm-hmm. You're wearing a from gar- the Gap. You're wearing a garter belt. You I'm have, wearing a you girdle. Have, you have rollers in your hair. You have lipstick on. I'm wearing a uh, Borat style G string. <laughs> Underneath uh, my shirt and slacks, mm-hmm. and a uh, what's it called? Uh, it a is barber fun. jacket. I might get some Macwald underwear. I just threw out all my old underwear. Apparently, they're really good. Yeah. I mean, they, we know this they're is really free. Good. No, it doesn't matter. No, yeah. it, it, on yeah. the premium, we say whatever. Well, fuck all the companies. They're very the highly players. rated. Yeah. By GQ. Yeah. No, they are the, nice. I mean, I've been getting Gap under or er, Old Navy underwear, and they wear really nice for like. The first four washes. Yeah. But then they fall apart. Yeah, I have, like, Calvin Klein underwear that I've had for, like, a decade. <laughs> that's yep. what I wear that's, usually. Yeah, that's good. But mm-hmm. then I have, like, Adidas compression shorts that I got into wearing as underwear. But yes. do they fuck up your balls? Yeah, they're really uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, like, particularly fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. Because it's, like... You do that all constantly. Yeah, well, I, I used to wear them. There's only, like, fucking, you know, like, because it packs everything in tight or yeah. whatever. And then keep this the Nick's transitioning. Tight. I'm transitioning. <laughs> I'm having my. I'm compressing both my breasts and my balls <laughs> until I can buy better breasts. Mm-hmm. I want. I don't listen. I yeah. know I already have tits. Yeah. I don't want men's tits. You want a girl's I want, tits. So I'll compress my men's tits until. So you can put some t- lady titties on top of them, bitches. Yeah. Did you see that Sprite commercial that like conservatives are mad about? No. It's like. You know, a bunch of shots of like trans fam, like a family with a trans family member or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it ends with like a father dropping his son off at like gay pride. And the kid like turns to his dad and the dad's like all proud watching him. And it's like pride means like, uh, like pride is what you feel when someone you love chooses to be free. Mm -hmm. And it's like Sprite. And it's like the problem you should have with it is that it's gay. Not that it's gay. Like gay people. Like gay people. It's just a it's gay It's just like ad. fucking Sprite. You know, Sprite. Like yeah, yeah, Fucking yeah. Pepsi tried to do that with that fucking Black Lives Matter that was awesome. years ago. And this one is equally as tasteless. Well, but they don't have a, Karda- a Kardashian. And it's not, they people aren't dying. Yeah, people aren't dying. True. That's probably it. But That's like the old Norm McDonald joke. It's like Sprite sucks. You know, yeah. Sprite's like the worst. Sprite had a hot moment in the fucking early 90s. It did. It Black people did. still fuck with Sprite. Do they? <coughs> Is that so? I think so. I don't think so. The you amount of report, citrus reporting options. Reporting live from the hood, Adam yeah. Freeland. <laughs> Here, I'm at, the, uh, I'm at the dustiest bodega in Bed-Stuy. There's uh, three cats living here. Dressed like dressed like the guy in a Woody Allen movie Dude, that's Sprite, with his old Sprite wife. in 1990. Yeah. You're dressed like the guy Woody Allen bumps into. The guy, there's, a, there's an 11-year-old boy whose ringtone is the call to prayer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when the bodega guys are doing that. They're like ringing up condoms and like doing like. Three fifty, bro. You They're watching those. Early, man, I got sacks back here. If you're trying to pick up. <laughs> you know. They're watching those videos of like speeches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? In in, cool. in landscape mode. Yeah, yeah. They're always in landscape <laughs> mode. Yeah. They're never holding their mm-hmm. shit up, right? They're always, always holding their shit like this. <laughs> and then, like, what could possibly? That's the other thing. I don't, cause, you know, because I never rent to church. And I don't fucking like. Yeah. I don't go to. Muslim oh, you never church. went to church. Like once or twice. Yeah. A couple of times. It's I a remember, mass. Remember my neighbors? They were Catholic, and they like. I missed. They missed my birthday or something. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. Like one of them couldn't. Like their kid couldn't come to my birthday party, so they brought me to church to make up for it. What? And then dinner after. Okay. Or, or okay like, dinner. Or, or like like a meal. Or Where? Whatever. Like. Uh, Hamburger ham. No, no, no. Um. Oh, why does it? They just got rid of the band, the huh? Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, oh. Yeah. that's solid. So yeah, there was. To be fair, yeah, they did go above and beyond. Like you know, you <laughs> missed my birthday. And to them, to them, taking you to church is like a good thing, not right, a exactly. gay bullshit. Yeah, Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese you sit is through. a treat. Mm-hmm. Chuck E. Cheese in church to them is like right. That's in fact, the it was, yeah, because I, I never mentioned it. It was never like a thing that was, because as a child, I've been like, can you believe this gay shit? You know, <laughs> yeah. know, if it was just the church thing, I was like, I was very, it was very kind of them. I don't yeah. even remember playing games. I just remember sitting with their family and having dinner with them. Eating pizza. Just for eating pizza. With pizza. With family. <laughs> Being like, this is what my this life could out, be yeah. like. This would be nice. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> dude, it was randomly when you would get a meal with a different family that like either didn't hate each other or like just was on their best behavior. Mm-hmm. You were like, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. If they ask their kids in a nice way, what's going on? I yeah. was always <laughs> giving. Them, they was, were encouraging me. Yeah, they I was shocked it. when I would go to my non-Jewish friends, my Mormon friends families for dinner their families are all so nice and like sweet but they would drink milk with the, like at the dinner table mm. like a glass of Liberty milk Heights? the gringo shit that's gringo shit that's some that's some why people shit mm-hmm. right mayo ass motherfuckers what movie liberty heights no so oh Levinson yeah yeah movie. yeah is that yeah. the one where it's like the jewish guy falls in love with the black girl yeah 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 that's a good movie yeah i saw it when it came out it might be the best barry levinson movie in terms of ones that I saw, I remember what about a diner a, having an emotional impact? Better than diner, yeah, I liked it. More I than diner. I sort of see what you that's mean. That's the only one I've yeah, seen. Yeah, but I, I haven't seen. I literally saw it when it came out, and never again. But I just remember that scene with like the where the Jewish kid has like it's like he's never seen like deli meat. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, what yeah, the fuck yeah. is bologna? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Bologna fucking freak. And I hadn't seen bologna. Uh, Hawaiian we bologna's disgusting. We were not a bologna it's household, bad. but we were a mortadella. It's so far away from like Italian meats that they had to like just change the spelling. They out. just yeah. made it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sh- also, King's Hawaiian rolls. That family had drank milk. Those are great. You know what? And I had? then they had King's Hawaiian Look, rolls. Thanksgiving's which I'd never coming had. up. Here's the Thanksgiving yeah. tip. Some those bitch are so I met good. Ten years yeah. ago, some this bitch, some fucking bitch. Yeah, I, we were going to like a friendsgiving thing, and what she made was like she got Nor's like. Nors makes a spinach dip soup mix. It's like a spinach cream of spinach mm-hmm. soup that you can use I'm to make listening. spinach dip with sour cream rather than the other shit. Uh-oh. You to get the King's Hawaiian bread, the one that comes in a pan, the big motherfucker. Uh-huh. Hollow that out into a bread bowl. Tear yes. up the bread pieces, throw them back in okay. the back. Okay. Put the spinach dip in, okay. the, in the fucking tin. That's a ooh, ooh. And you bring that to a party. I like that. Dude. I like the sound of that, bro. King's Hawaiian rolls are so yeah. good, you I don't even drunk. need them with anything. <laughs> You could just eat them like a piece of bread. Yeah. No I mean, butter, no nothing. I don't know if I've anyways. had one. Yeah, that's basically why. I what? don't know that I've had a king. They're of so roll. good. Is it a dessert or is it a no, roll? No, it's just a type of bread. Mm. It's like potato bread. Mm. But it's tasty but on its own. But they're all like connected. They're like... They I've seen them. Like a, yeah. I've seen them. You have to tear them out. And they look so buttery that they appear to be a dessert to, and they're to the sweet. naked eye. Yeah, okay. They are sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I have. I love potato them. bread. Sometimes I just eat the slices. Mm. Potato white bread. White bread, do that with that shit. I eat any, any type of bread, really. I yeah. like yeah. a burger around. on a potato roll. Sure. Yeah. Who's against that? Hot dog, potato buns. I'm not a white bread type, type of motherfucker, though. I like to get a fucking loaf of something and just eat the middle. Yeah, I never <laughs> just had. bowl up I the never middle. Really, I never really like, had much white bread. Like Wonder Bread, I remember being purchased maybe once. Yeah. Ever. And mostly what that was used for was like you could roll it up in the dough. And I thought really? that was cool. Yeah, you can just roll Wonder Bread back in the dough. What? And yeah. then bake it? No, I would just eat it like dough balls. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some chocolate on there. Okay. So oh, that, yes. Is that fucked up snack you were talking about as a kid, thinking it was normal to fill like hot dog rolls with uh, sugar and cream cheese? <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Me and Elvis used to do that butter or or cream cheese <laughs> with sugar on top. Yeah, I don't remember. And then what was Elvis's the other one? body used it to yeah, it like used all that fuel to make him tall with a small penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just became wide. I just got wide with a small <laughs> penis. He really did get the better end of that one, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I resent that mother. We literally we were the same height until like sixth grade. We were like the big boys in yeah. elementary school, and then this motherfucker shot up. Fucking piece of shit. Hey. Um, we'll be, uh, let's talk about being in a ski lodge again, though. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Chili is what I'm saying. Oh. In the ski lodge. Oh, mm-hmm. dude. You're just, just going up to Scandinavian women? Yeah. <laughs> being like, madam, may I purchase you jewels? <laughs> Like, nice. Excuse me. They're like that. Yeah, that's just, uh, that's the same guy from before. <laughs> you're drinking in a coffee mug. You have chili that you're sipping I'm on. Sipping chili. <laughs> I'm pouring bourbon into the chili. <laughs> <laughs> Got to Irish up this chili. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Irish fucking Irish bisque. Style. <laughs> <laughs> it's an alcoholic pouring grain alcohol into his soups. <laughs> you can make any soup Irish style. Yeah. Uh, time for some Irish potatoes yeah. all gratin. Time for a little <laughs> Irish driving over to the 
<laughs> the hotel <laughs> to see what the owner's key card might, what kind of trouble that might get me into <laughs> in some of these rooms. <laughs> I can't wait to Irishly visit hey. some of our female hey. <laughs> customers. <laughs> uh, yeah, just Irishly uh, be accused mm-hmm. of rape. Yeah. <laughs> this is a guy just at a like um, just like a barista at a coffee shop. He's making someone a latte, and then he's like pouring half the latte in another cup and pouring some water in the original cup, being like, "Mind if I Jewish up this coffee?" <laughs> I'll take my latte Jewish, please. <laughs> Mind if I just Jewish this up for you? Wait, have you seen that clip of Chuck of Chuck Schumer? What? No. He he goes to a a diner to give an interview, and he's like, "Let me let me tell you a little trick that that, that from the diner." He's like, you order, you order a glass of orange juice, okay? Then a tall glass of water. And then a third empty cup. You pour 10% of the orange juice into the empty cup. You fill the rest of it with water. 10% of the calories. What? Plus, you can share it and more people can have orange juice, too. <laughs> What the? Chuck Schumer? Just give yeah. people health care, you fucking. I know this, he's a fucking millionaire yeah. from taking bribes from people, and that's how he's spending the money. It's like right. everyone's relatives are dying, so Chuck Schumer can fucking. You know how steal much juice. a cup? He's stealing juice slowly. He is the Be- Senate Majority Leader or Minority Leader. Just buy juice, you fucking cheap piece of shit. God damn. Let me tell you a trick that Here's I like a little to do bit of a trick. trick. Might, Adam, you got a light? I'm going to get this candle going. Okay. Yeah, candle yeah. Time. Let's get it sexy in here. It smells pretty, pretty, pretty <coughs> what good. What do we got here? We Ooh, should, cinnamon We stick. should do uh, candle reviews on the pod. We're, but we're about to right now. We got what, Ashland what? Christmas An Noel. Ashland Christmas cinnamon stick. Mm-hmm. Baton de cinnamon. Hell yeah. Racine just texted me. Um, uh... Racine just texted me uh, Alexandra Daddario's pictures where her titties. Oh were yeah, from True Detective. And he's like, "Do you remember these?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you, uh, do you remember when this happened? <laughs> remember when we? He saw texted titties? me last night. He was like, "Fuck these faggots from MSNBC." <laughs> <laughs> During the debate, <laughs> I yeah, love remembering titties. Sucked. Dude, they're they are really trying. I didn't watch everything. I didn't watch but a stitch of it, dude. I was yeah. fucking off it's the just edibles. Like, why the fuck is take Kamala Harris off the stage? Gone. Take fucking. I mean, I who's love that him, motherfucker? But that, Andrew Yang gone. Who's the guy that he is? Who just bought Facebook <laughs> ads until he got to be on the Stayer? stage? Who the yeah. fuck is that guy? He's got. Well, he has twenty billion dollars, so he just he just. Dipped. He's just like whatever. Fuck it. I'll I'll spend three hundred million dollars not becoming the president. Yeah, but like, yeah, Ugh, so annoying. It's like that's the thing with all these fucking rich assholes. It's like not one of them is like, yeah, I'll just fix the, I'll just fix Flint or anything or anything good. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah, I want to be on the debate stage for no fucking reason. I just want people to know who I am. Imagine thinking that you're going to be president. Because you're a billionaire. Because Imagine another, Amy Klobuchar thinks she's president. Like, that's a guy that pretends to be a billionaire. <laughs> right, right, right. That's what you don't get. That's yeah. not the same skill set. Right. Actually being a billionaire, not good for president. Right. Pretending to be a billionaire and telling everybody how cool you are. Right. Perfect. Well, for everybody being everybody always said, you know, politics is just it's Hollywood for ugly people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Donald Trump might be the greatest ugly actor. That's a good point. He's sick. Yeah. Yep, he was built for this, dude. Uh, I just none of them have any fucking type of charisma. I mean, s- vote for Bernie Sanders. Yeah, of course. That, now that that's out of the Bernie way, aside. none of them have any kind of like charisma. Mm-hmm. It's like just a, a, a rehashing of. I mean, they might as well have just read their fucking on the issues page from each one of their individual websites, with the exception of that like exchange in between uh, Booker and Biden over weed. Oh yeah, I didn't see it. And then Biden, Biden said it's a gateway drug. <laughs> yeah, I saw. And I saw him saying that. Tulsi <laughs> going after Mayor Pete for saying that he wanted to send troops to Mexico, which is like, you know, I like I get it. It's, I mean, Why, did anybody make? Did anybody everyone was going at Tulsi like she doesn't have one percent of the vote or whatever? Did anybody go after Pete's bitch ass? No. And didn't he do some? Did, Kamala or Booker yeah, I was should say. have been like, "Why did you make up all these fake <laughs> yeah. black people that that endorsed you in right. South Carolina?" That's the, most, that's the most like pressing issue. That's with insanity. This. And they're, and they're black people. Like they have every right. 
as centrists that are behind him and they want to like Booker, build, Booker cut decided, into his lead. Booker decided to use that one on Biden. But why? why? I don't know. Yeah, Buttigieg, the ones you got to be worried. He's the game. He listen, uh, Corey. As the only other gay man running. You he's the take, only gay man running. Gotta, yeah, that's right. Ooh, this is a good conspiracy yeah, theory. Yeah, well, he's no, he's straight. not. Pete, he's Pete, gay, but yeah, Pete's Pete straight. Buttigieg is like, he he's has no, asexual. no sexuality yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. It's just people like called him gay growing up enough. Because, <laughs> you know, he's I like, guess he's I like am, do you I guess guys want to start a tattling club at school? <laughs> they're like, no, dude, you're fucking gay. And then he's like, I guess I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same reaction to penis or pussy. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. So I I'm, guess I'm smooth like a Ken doll downstairs. I, I don't have any genitalia. <laughs> I only have an asshole. <laughs> so you yeah. think, uh, what's his Imagine b- him and Hillary Clinton sharing a big oh. sun lamp on top of a rock somewhere. <laughs> Just using the warmth of the sun to regulate their body temperature, which they're incapable of doing themselves. <laughs> Going halves on a three-year-old afterwards. Right, yeah. <laughs> Slowly measuring a three-year-old by laying down next to it <laughs> and then inching over the three-year-old's body. And so there's an outline of a three-year-old frozen like Han Solo <laughs> in Hillary's stomach. Yeah. I got more votes than Bernie Sanders, and he lost to me. <laughs> it, at least it seems like she's gone away, or maybe she's trying to come back. I don't know. She had that weird media tour where I was like, oh, is this bitch about to fucking run? Well, she said... Uh, so many people are asking me to run. Everybody's asking me. Please do it. Please fucking do it. Honestly, at this point, please do it. I mean, it's like... It would be funny. The only point in paying attention is like the satisfaction you get out of watching these people fail. Yeah, that's true. Which I guess is kind of what the podcast is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. joke's on you. Guess you just closed on a ski lift. <laughs> 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 Ooh, you get, get sued because the ski lodge is called Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> 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 you get one of those fires mm-hmm. that has like a chin, like, like in the middle, Luigi's middle of the three. room. It's public domain now. Yeah. The original one is public domain. <laughs> Once there's two video game sequels, it's mm-hmm. public domain. Mm-hmm. It's called Murphy's Law. Ever hear of it? <laughs> That's right. It's called Murphy Brown's Law. Mm-hmm. Where it's, if you fuck a tall blonde bitch. Yeah, my plan is if I get sued, what I'm going to do is, and nobody ever thinks about this, mm-hmm. you just bring a gun into the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> they take everyone's guns, but if you can manage to sneak a gun mm-hmm. in there, you just have to kill the bailiff, and then once that's, that's done... That's one guy. Mm-hmm. Easy. You're king king of the court. That's right. And then... Then you put a gun in the we'll judge's s- mouth. We'll see about your lawsuit, <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> You make the judge strip and give him the give you his robes. Mm-hmm. The, judge, <laughs> the judge takes the robe off and he's completely naked. And <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. Okay, please just, <laughs> just, just, just pulls the robe off, just absolutely nude. completely nude. There's a wet spot where his cock was. <laughs> yeah, right. they don't wear any clothes. On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. You've brought your own wig to, to yeah. be a judge. You brought your own like British judge's wig. They still dress like that in Hong Kong. That's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Is that what they're protesting over? Getting to keep those wigs? Yeah, they want the wigs. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone else is cosplaying over there. Too. It's true. What's Hong Kong like? You want to go to Japan, but you don't have enough money. No, it's more expensive. Isn't it Japanese China? It's Japanese China. Yeah. So I it's like it's if you English. want sushi. It's capitalist China. It's weird that there's a lot of Asian people in Australia. Why? <laughs> They're right there. I know, but just you know, it's close. Voice. Yeah, I know what you mean in or terms that they of talk how that like how ch- I do know what you mean in terms of when we went there and how Asian everything influenced was because like every fast food, every, like there's so much Chinese and Thai. Well, and the Japanese. Thai, the Thai food and the I- Vietnamese food there was like was better than I've had bomb. in the states. Yeah. Yeah, dude, they it's had, like Mexican food for them. They had true. They had better Greek food too. Yeah, I wish I wish I could go back to that Greek restaurant. We're going, dude. Oh yeah, that's right. We are going. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be in May Australia in April. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do a little just a little tease for you fucking whatever the fuck. And uh Los Angeles, we're never gonna go. <laughs> so yep. we are back in Australia we're going twice. Half across the world because um, have not been to Philadelphia. <laughs> Because, <laughs> wanna, but this time the move is get like oxycotton, 
Yeah. Or Percocets instead of Tramadol when I go to the Greek I love restaurant. that. I love that. And then, yeah. And then... And well, all, here's, here's... Well, everyone was offering us ketamine after the here's Melbourne. Here's the thing, so. boys. We're only we're only going to be there. It's going to be a shorter trip, so we got to be on drugs the whole time. Oh, we're on we drugs gotta, the entire we time. Be on we're doing our, our gala shows, and I want to make sure that I'm fucked up. <laughs> And not do a single set before, for in between now and then. Dude, it's for real, like, though. Look, they booked me. You paid for, you you paid paid for, for the it. tickets, so get no ready for refunds. an hour description of my ski lodge. <laughs> <laughs> my, my show at, at, at the friend Edinburgh Fringe Festival, uh, Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> the ski lodge. And it's, me, it's me touching my forehead. <laughs> And then there's one like eyebrow raise. One eyebrow raise. Me, t- me adjusting my glasses. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Cold. And I go on stage. Resort. and I was like, "Oh, it's raped, yeah. It was raped. In, oh, it was raped. I got rape a dude in my fucking Asaruni." <laughs> 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 this, uh, the guy playing a didgeridoo the whole time. Yeah, right. uh, Luigi's Mansion was one of the best shows we saw. In <laughs> I got my ace hell. Yeah, yeah. Racer Wait, Rodini. Is there it's, a chance that one of us could very, win? It's, it's modern art because he graphically so. describes being raped being while playing. Right. While having an entire GameCube shoved in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a GameStop. And it's it's really uh, visceral and emotional. At the end, he says, "Just kidding." <laughs> <laughs> None of that happened to me, you fucking hey mouse. But what if it did? Mm-hmm. But what if? So you know they say because it's it, you, initially you think it's highlighting how rape can't be can't be funny. You know how it's uh, how something so traumatic. Yeah. Can't ever be something that's funny, mm-hmm. but then at the end he says "just kidding," and you realize you paid three hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> three hundred and fifty dingery dollar bucks to see a man uh, make fun of rape victims and then say "just kidding" at the end, and it's like you gotta laugh. You just you gotta, gotta laugh, you gotta at, the laugh. at the end. You gotta laugh, and then you feel like, well, I guess if that can be funny, then all regular rape can then be funny. I've got to start raping. Mm-hmm. If it's I got funny. my show. My f- a fringe show I'm preparing is called, um, is called my, our bodies in lived, uh, lived space. Mm. Yeah. That and kinda, what do you do that for that? I don't know, but it sounds like one of those kind of shows. Yeah, I would do. I'm gonna do a one man show. Uh, and it's I'm gonna do all. It's gonna do a bunch of vo- Greek voices. I would love to take it like to do a serious hour about how it sucks. That games suck now. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years ago, games were awesome, dude. Games. Were, no, remember s- Halo? Fucking. <laughs> you know, <laughs> people think the problem is politics, but fucking games. Dude, suck. Halo Two was good. Here, there used to the pinnacle of gaming came when there was a debate where people were starting to say. Our video games art, and the answer was a, 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 a loud, obvious no. You fucking <laughs> yeah, of idiot! Of course, it's stupid. Of course, they're not art. They're not moron. art. Do real art, you fucking piece of shit. And then all of the people that were influenced by that conversation and bought into the idea that they could possibly be art, who were like seven at the time, mm-hmm. now have like, you know. Van Dyke goatees and wear like silk black button up shirts and like right. these fucking. <clears throat> You know, what, what, you know those leather bracelets? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. they write these articles as if video games are art. Which they're not, or, to be clear. Or have any kind of fucking importance culturally to the extent that you... Like, that's the thing. It's like, well, should there be girls in video games? And it's like, you do whatever the fuck you want. What needs to be acknowledged is that it is not important and it doesn't <laughs> yeah, fucking matter. I know. And and it's the funny. same way comedy is bullshit. Yeah. And it's crazy that the, this is the arena where we're proving what a good society we're in. Mm-hmm. Video games are even somehow less important than stand-up comedy. No. Yeah. Representation is a million times more important in pornography <laughs> than video games. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's more important that people on a, a visceral, we disgusting need guys level, guys with little ass dicks, a, porn. a libidinal level, see themselves represented, yeah. than in some dipshit when you're like, oh, but what if I can't be a space captain? <laughs> it is doesn't it literally does not matter. No joke, man. I love jacking off to those videos where it's like that that fat guy with a little penis that they humiliate, and I'm like, wow, I have a bigger penis than him, and it makes mm-hmm. me happy, dude. And does I jack it? off, and I'm like. My dick is bigger than that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that's even more pathetic than being the guy in the video. 
<laughs> I love it, dude. He's got yeah. like a some yeah. I don't know, some kind of Hispanic guy, and he fucks hot women, and I'm like, yeah, nice. Is All it right. Bob? It might be Bob. Yeah. I remember that. I, I haven't seen those in like 15 years. Yeah, they'll pop up on... I'll, I'll do a deep scroll on X videos sometimes. I used to go to E Fucked all the time. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. E Fucked was hilarious. Classic. E Fucked. Some yeah. of my favorite vids. Yeah, I checked in. It's not It's not as... I don't feel like it's as good anymore. No. That's another thing. Games and E Fucked. E Fucked Ten was... Ten years ago, E Fucked was hot in 2006. E-fucked was I remember there's a video, and it's just, it's like it, it's this panning shot of like a bedroom, and there's like aquariums in the background and there's these two women like shoving eels in their <laughs> pussies and then it like it keeps panning and then there's a guy with a puffer fish and he's just sliding it onto his cock <laughs> could you die Hell like yeah. that what well Little you know how puffer goo? fish are poisonous no no that's from the simpsons i think it's real fugu well we should have gotten fugu in japan we should have what's fugu it's po- they they cut they, there's a type of fish that has a po- like a poison in its like liver or something, and if you cut it the wrong way, the poison like saturates the fish and it can kill you. Damn. So sushi chefs know how to like cut it that just allows like a little bit of the poison into the rest of the meat, mm-hmm. so it kind of like makes your tongue numb. Damn. Rather than being like a lethal dose of the poison. Yeah, from The Simpsons. I don't want to do that. I'm too scared. I don't want to die. All right, I got an idea for a one-man show, okay? Okay, I'm listening. All right, it's my foreskin from when I was a baby, mm. but he's been trying to find me my whole life. Yep. And one day he shows up at my door with, a like, a stick and a bindle, you know what I mean? Yep. And I'm like, who are you? And he said, I'm your foreskin. And, and then I shut the door in his f- face, and I say, you know, I have a whole life no. now. No, fuck you. Fuck you, I have a whole life now. You think you could just come you back? You can't just come back into my life and expect me to to love you i gave you away you know mm-hmm. and then I, plus what is the jewish god gonna say oh. what's freaking adonai gonna say about that come dude? on stop you can't what say, you can't use the lord's name is that the bad one come on bro dude which is the good you one gotta beep that out hashem that's hashem is the good one. <laughs> <laughs> you the think fuck that's what you talking about? There's one you're not supposed Stav to say. Stav said the uh, you can't say Adonai. But you just said it. I know. I don't gotcha. believe in it. Bitch. God is that, that was the I whole, don't believe haha, in it. Haha, that was the whole point. Dude. Gotcha. Now you're out of Jewish. As heaven. if I don't know everything about that culture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hashem just means the name. Oh really? Yeah. It's like it's like saying the N word. Yeah. It's the, <laughs> it's the N word for Adonai. The N. <laughs> <laughs> Man, whatever, man. Jewish guy can suck my fucking dick. Although, I got to say, you guys took a lot of L's early on. And, uh-huh. of course, the Holocaust was a pretty tough yeah, one. Yeah, we stay winning. But you are winning. It's Jewish so annoying. Jewish women stay winning. No, not, I don't know about that. Um, yeah. We, we've had a good century. Yeah, dude. You get to fucking molest as many kids as you want. We now. we get to molest kids <laughs> just like just like the Catholics that were murdering us for a long time. That's true. Oh, so you're copying. We're copying. You're not even original. one of our favorite things to do. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> wow. They hate copying. Jews? Yeah. What do you mean? I guess I thought I'm thinking about like intellectual property laws. Oh yes, that's true. They, if they, they do own something, they don't want you to copy it. Yeah, yeah. If, if you they don't like something. copying things, they like exploiting things. There's that's a difference. True. That's true. Chinese it's not like that to they copy. They want to be like black people. They want to sell what black people do back to them and control all the rights to it. That'd be funny if mm, if Chinese true. like in, in, that's China, true. Yeah, there's a difference. Mm-hmm. Okay, here, here's an idea. You know how the Chinese like to pirate like American technology? Right. What if they start pirating American stand-up comedy? Mm. And then you have Chinese comedians that are like, there are two different kind of black people. <laughs> black people. Black right. people. <laughs> <laughs> there's black people Do and it. then there's... What's well, the word it. in Chinese? What is it? Yeah. No, I'm but not tell, say the, it. tell everybody what it is, Adam. I ain't scared of you mother, motherfucker. Oh, I am not a scared... It's Japanese. I the guess. thing about Chinese people is there's one kind of Chinese people. <laughs> 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 Black people there is two kinds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or just regular shows. Ch- a Chinese fucking Martin. Yeah, Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Well, they, do they do have a Chinese um, 
Mad About You, I think. Really? Yeah. There's also a Chinese version of the movie What Women Want that's like a shot for shot remake <laughs> in Chinese. Hell yes. He dude. does the Frank Sinatra uh, hat the scene. Yeah. I don't remember anything about What Women Yeah. I don't there's either. a scene where Mel Gibson gets drunk. And I he's remember trying one on part. all these different women's. Uh, like he's trying on tights and he's like shaving his legs mm. and stuff. And, and he's, he's getting doing pa- it. And he's getting fucked by a. I just remember this. He's scene doing a dance to where Sinatra. He's fucking the woman, and like he can hear her being like. I remember that one too. Like, God, he sucks at fucking, and he goes into the bathroom and he gives himself a pep talk, and then suddenly he's good at fucking. Yeah. And it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Well, he learns how to guy. Go- he ner- he, he learns like, from her thoughts. He learns from her thoughts. I remember thinking about that constantly. Yeah, that and would I, be cool. I saw that movie before I even had sex, and I knew I would be facing that predicament. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, would, I would be blowing it. I would say 30... F- I remember uh, interpreting that as a horror movie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy, can you Scary. imagine? Scary. It was called, What If Women Really Couldn't Shut Up? <laughs> <laughs> what if you couldn't ignore women? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if you had to listen to them yeah. instead of just pretending to? Yeah. Can you imagine, though, how awful it would be to have that happen to you in, like, 2016? Oh, yeah. Hillary is beautiful, and she's perfect, and she's the best, <laughs> and she's perfect, and everyone who doesn't like her is a rapist, and that guy's probably a rapist. I'm going to accuse him of rape. For not voting for Hillary. <laughs> and you're like, I'm just trying to sit in the library. I just want to read. I just want to fucking mm-hmm. uh, open a big encyclopedia and underneath it have pornography and jack off. Yes. yes. Can you please leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I want to do that someday, dude. Yeah. Jack what? off with a secret porno mag under a book. Under a book? You know, like... Inside a, of a book. Inside yeah. of a book. What city is that? Hmm, I don't know. The Guangzhou province? That's San Francisco. Is it? I believe so, yeah. That's the oh Bay yes. Bridge. The Orange Bridge. And that's that triangle-ass skyscraper. I finally oh. started playing uh, Luigi's Mansion. Grand Theft Auto 4. Ooh. Which one's 4? Um, 5 is in L.A. 5, right? that's the one. Five. Yeah. Yeah. 4 is the one with, uh, it's it, here. It's yeah, the that one, one I with the Russian that, guy. That one's awesome. That one rules, bro. Dude. That was the, that's the, that's the best GTA guy. Except yeah, he is definitely the best guy. Is his name Nico Bellic. Yeah, 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 yeah. The problem is, it would make you do gay shit. Like you'd have to like go on dates or something. Or you, like people would call you and you have to hang out with them. And do shit. They do that I in don't GTA think it's Five. Gay to go it's on like dates. GTA Five. Your phone rings and you're like, well, I guess I have to drive a tow truck. <laughs> yeah. I was on my way to go murder somebody, but now mm-hmm. I guess I have to do this prostitute's tow truck jobs. <laughs> I have to go to yoga. Lamar, can you come over? I need help. I need, somebody needs to walk the dog. <laughs> Although the dog does rule. It's a fucking little bull fat bulldog. I've done none of the dog missions. The dog is cute as fuck. I'm doing all the Trevor shit now. I finally mm-hmm. got the Trevor shit going. Trevor's a, that's a good part of the game. Is it? Well, yeah. When you're in the desert, just going buck wild. Yeah. That I, mission that was part cool. When you kill, kill like everyone in that little bar. Red, 45 tweakers. Yeah, dude. Yes. That shit rules. Oh, and doesn't he like he gets on meth and you get you like on in rage mode or whatever? Yeah, you can use that yeah. shit. Rocks Damn, maybe too. I'll start playing GTA Five. I haven't played it in like five years. I have games that I'm done with. You I've been, actually I had it downloaded you want, when I I'm bought like, my. You can have Modern Warfare. Wow. Wow. I'm good. Dude. It's boring. It just got fucking boring, dude. I'm good. I load. It's the same thing as like because Battlefield like one or four. Is that the one you played forever? Yeah, Battlefield one. I played for like a fucking year and Battlefield a half. Battlefield, you played. Yeah, there's like six months of this podcast where you did it while playing Battlefield. Yeah, <laughs> Battlefield one was great. That's Looking the one in World back, War Two, right? It's World War One. World War One. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I remember thinking it was limited, but then like the more I think about it, it's like I really enjoyed that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked fun. I just suck dick at those games, dude. I might fuck around and play Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have that one, Adam. <laughs> well, you need a switch for that, right? Yeah, well, you don't have allowed. a switch? You're not allowed to How much is a switch? 300? 200. 200? Yeah. Fucking loser, you don't have a switch. Apparently dude. Pokemon sucks. What? But I know I wouldn't play it. Sword? Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to play that if it was cool. Does do Pokemon have swords or no? No. The no, it's it's the fuck? same. It's I I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure it's the same thing as the old ones. It was great how they would just keep re-releasing that game and be like, so how about a different color? Yeah. <laughs> Crystal. About, yeah. And you just kind of draw them a little differently. I mean, I only ever played red or blue or whichever one. Yeah, I played red. I played blue. 
And then I played Yellow for a hot sec. Yeah, never never did that. But Yellow was like some fake shit, dude. It's off of the TV show. You got Pikachu. Dude, it was for the fake fans, dude. The fake fans. Not who had TVs. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in a Game Boy household. Oh, yes. My family would all sit around and play Game Boy. That was the biggest <laughs> screen in the family. Mm-hmm. We'd all take turns pressing a button. Mm-hmm. One of two buttons. Trying to sh- yep. Trying Game to play- Boy was awesome. Playing Metroid, but being like, it's a woman under there. Samus has titties. I just replayed Super Metroid on Switch. You did? On Switch, yeah. Was it good? It's free. Ooh, wee. Oh, do you have that, like, subscription thing? It's No, it's free. Just download. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, maybe that's my shit, dude. I gotta, I gotta fire the switch back up. <laughs> maybe watch. watch <laughs> you just touched my balls. <laughs> yeah, dude. As a oh, that's right. You do have the switch. beginning. Yeah, we should play Smash. We really point. should. I've played it like two times. I know we were out. playing it at the beginning, and then we just stopped. I'm bad at Smash. I'm bad at it too. That's why we should. play Yeah, we're all bad at it. Stop's good. It. I thought anybody that's mm, good at I'm Smash better is than a you. fucking loser. But I'm not good. There's maybe three people who should be playing Smash and are all bad at it. They're all yeah. <laughs> if you go, if you get too good, that you think about like maybe I should compete in this. Oh it's yeah. Like you should be put down at your doctor's <laughs> office. They <laughs> <laughs> should be. What are your hobbies? It's just yeah. one of the check. Your boxes. doctor's like, nope, it's just a routine va- vaccine booster. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, you know, why is my whole family here? They're all crying and hugging you. <laughs> They're like, "Sorry, Mikey, we heard Sorry. we heard you might try to be competing in Smash <laughs> Brothers, so we're having you put down, big guy." <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, huh? I mean, well, you didn't get any pussy your whole life. Yeah, that wasn't which, gonna happen. Which <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen. So we're just gonna go ahead and nip it in the bud. Although one time, uh. A very fat uh, girl that likes anime and has pigtails. Yeah. Uh, who gets attention because she's the only woman in her group <laughs> of eight friends. She almost sucked your dick, but yeah. I remember. I, I can't. I wish I could find it again, but it was from some comic con. It's some like autistic girl or whatever in line for something, and some guy with the camera is like bullying her, <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, but Bulma has green hair or whatever." And she's like, "Bulma has blue hair in the thing." He's like, "No, she has green hair." Oh and no. <laughs> She's just her the, brain melting yeah, down. She's just all upset or yeah. whatever. Yeah, man. Fuck, that video was funny. <laughs> oh, that was it. I thought there was a turn or something, no, but no. No. <laughs> just so, uh, do, oh, dog, when I was in Portland, um, there was there was literally a fucking like, Pacific Northwest Pacific Otakon going on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at the convention center. I was staying right by it. I rode the elevator with a family of cosplayers and... It did not smell great, the boys. Mm-hmm. That shit was fucking horrible. You're just smelling yourself, and you're like, man, this family. <laughs> this <laughs> family <laughs> smells bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely this family and not me, the 35-year-old <laughs> who's addicted to <laughs> weed candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, these fucking, these, this family smells like chicken wings in your own cum. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's yeah, weird, dude. Just staying there. Your belt doesn't even reach around your pants. It's just going into your ass. <laughs> yeah, it starts at the beginning, and then it just gets swallowed up by my asshole. <laughs> wow, this family stinks. This family smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. It's everyone but me. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much... Whole world just stinks <laughs> except for me. <laughs> now to go that, get my second dinner. When I lived in Los Angeles, I fucking pissed my car while drunk and I forgot about it. And then I would drive around and be like, "Man, this city stinks." <laughs> 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 That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, I told you right, when my old cat. Before we got him fixed, he was like busting all over everything in the apartment. Oh, yeah, dude. And I put a coat on for work, and I was like riding the bus, and I was there was a homeless guy next to me, and I was like, "This guy is disgusting. Like yeah, I've yeah. never smelled anything so bad." And then I got to my office, I was like, "I still smell him." Yeah. 
And then I took my coat off. I was like, oh, my cat just like blasted all over my jacket. <laughs> you had cat jizz all over you, dude. It was the cat jizz. <laughs> it was the Damn, cat jizz yeah. smells bad? I was at the Whole Foods. Awful. Really? Awful. I was at like Whole Foods and I passed by like some older homeless guy, but he was like, even with his homeless clothes, was like trying to look fresh. He was like, yeah, doing, like yeah. checking his, checking Hell himself. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, like adjusting his hat. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Just reeks of shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was like, hey, man, hey, make the most of your you. situation, brother. Know, right. <laughs> He's maximizing uh, yeah, it. Yeah, right. The fact I got that doo-doo like, in my ass. <laughs> it's like, I look good. <laughs> but I'm getting homeless pussy. <laughs> oh Someone's got to get homeless pussy, and it's about to be me. It's about to be Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lawrence is going to clean up once I get to the shelter. <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh, and I'm, I'm just like my haircut looks stupid <laughs> <laughs> respect to lawrence dude <laughs> i love him just yep yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know just doing like yeah. oh yeah checking himself <laughs> yeah I, tell you, I was at that same whole foods one time and i was just charging my phone mm-hmm. so i used to go there to like use the internet i didn't have internet in my place so oh yeah know. yeah the chinatown it, yeah and I was there with like, like this. I struck up a conversation with some like Ukrainian kid and his uncle. Oh yeah, you told me this. There's yeah. This kid with this like shitty mohawk. You know how like Europeans. Yeah, have, and like, he was like visiting Europeans, like because they don't have. They come from countries where there's not a single black person. Yeah. So the thing that's cool over there is like a windbreaker with too many zippers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. No, right. Like they, they just have really bad. Like they dress like beach balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like that. yeah, a lot of stitches. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so this fucking kid, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm like you're visiting New York. I'm like standing here with my uncle. The uncle just wordless the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> and then like would have just like nothing planned. Flies all the way across, goes from U- <laughs> Ukraine to fucking New York <laughs> to hang out at the fucking Whole Foods with his homeless <laughs> uncle. He's like, well, back to Ukraine, I guess. <laughs> My cousin was visiting from Israel mm, when we were kids. Interesting. And he had a shirt on that said, um, it said, Gangster Sportivit. And I was like, what does Gangster Sportivit mean? He's like, you know, like Gangster, but they play sports too. <laughs> 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 <That was dumb>. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was about to set the U.S. He's on like, yeah, I'm about to go to America. Shirt, I gotta wear my gangster my good sport shit, TV dude. shirt. Yeah, gangster sport TV. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no, no sense. But um, I guess it just means black to them. You know, yeah. like yeah, you know, black people gangster Have you sports. Ever heard the N word. They play sport. Yeah. How many? Uh, how much relatives do you have over in Israel, Adam? I have the entire country. <laughs> the entire country. No. My grandfather's brother moved there in 1948. 48? Kind of late on that one, huh? No, that was the year that Israel started. Yeah, there we, weren't any Jews there before but, that. But you know what I mean? Like, he didn't go before the country the, started, though. But the, you know what happened? What do you mean? The Holocaust? That, yeah. He wasn't in the Holocaust. Yeah, damn. Imagine, like... How dumb you got to be to move to Israel after the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you had all this time oh, to move stupid. there before the before, Holocaust. Dude. And you get, and it's like 1948, and you're like, well, I guess they're going to keep doing this Holocaust <laughs> thing. It's going to come Time back. to leave Germany. <laughs> and then you move to the fucking desert. And yep. then you're like, yeah, no, we're not doing the Holocaust anymore. You're like, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted guess I got to start wearing my gangster sport TV. <laughs> gangster sport TV. <laughs> gangster sport TV. <laughs> Yeah, he couldn't understand why. Why didn't I they it was just so pick? Funny. Why didn't they just pick another spot for Israel? Well, man? they tried to. They yeah. tried to give them Uganda. They should give them. <laughs> Wait, really? They give yeah. them Northern <laughs> Ireland. Yeah, give, give them. They something. tried to give them Baja Mexico. That's not bad. There's a book, a uh, My- Michael Shabon book about, uh, about uh, like an alternative reality where they gave the Jews Alaska. Oh fuck! I think I know you. T- I think yeah. I listened to a Fresh Air about this. Place. Yeah, the Yiddish policeman. Yeah, hero. I thought it was North Dakota or something. You should really yeah. cram them all into Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Just well, there the the IRA folks are like really pro Palestine. There's like yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> see what Nick happens. wants them to get blown up by car bombs. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. See what happens. You know, there's this as a, a man, a simple owner of a ski lodge. <laughs> I just want to see how that would play out. <laughs> you think he just wants Israelis versus the fucking uh, IRA. 
Damn, what an unfair fight. The IRA is going to whoop their ass. I don't know about that. Israel gets $38 billion every month. Do they still have nukes? To buy gangster sport TV shirts. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, they probably would have nukes. Israel? In Northern Ireland? In Northern Ireland. Oh, We're no. saying an alternate reality where Israel I don't think you get Ireland. nukes in I- if you're in Europe. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. What does it really matter? They, they have, have nukes in Europe. Yeah. It's so funny that Russia has nukes. They have so many. We have so many. I mean, the two of us have yeah. all of the nukes. Yeah. Every other country has like three. Yeah. Yeah. But also, doesn't it just take one to blow everything? Israel has up? a lot. Israel has a thing called Project Samson. Mm-hmm. You know about this stuff? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, is it something about getting your hair cut? Well, it's 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 they never have ever admitted that they have nukes, but basically if like there's a nuke coming that's going to destroy Israel, they'll release their nukes and then just take out the entire Middle East. Oh. And also oh. Europe too. And Europe. Damn. Yeah. They're like and you know how Samson like was holding the pillars you know, mm-hmm. and then they collapsed, and then everyone died. Yeah. So that's like the same kind of. Wouldn't he still? Wouldn't everyone have died either way? I Samson mean, was trying to save everybody, wasn't he? Uh, that for that bitch Delilah who cut, cut his, his hair. Off. What a fucking cunt! You right? think Delilah had good pussy? She had to have. Mm. She she had to have some of the best puss. Oh yeah. Who do you think historically had good pussy? Uh, Cleopatra. Helen of Troy. Cleopatra, and then I'm kind of tapped out of women from history. Cleopatra definitely at least sucked dick. Well, she was also list ugly. all the women of history. Cleopatra. Anne Amelia Frank, Earhart. Anne Frank, Amelia Earhart, Sacagawea, Pocahontas. And Harriet others, Tubman. And two or three more. Princess Who's that Diana, French bitch that dressed like a guy so she could the be in the war? Of Liberty. Princess Godiva. That's all of them. Godiva. Who's that bitch? The, the bitch that was naked on the horse? Betty Boop. Betty Boop. <laughs> Betty Boop. Uh, Who's that French bitch that was in the Mrs. war and Butters then they burned her? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, a couple more. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Uh, <laughs> Fievel's sister. <laughs> Fievel's sister from... Uh, uh, her name all Masha. the American do- girl dolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Aristocats. The Aristocats. Mm-hmm. Most of them. The, yeah, the mom from the Aristocats. Corella DeVille. Let's name more women, I guess. Of history. Yeah, of history, of history. Of history. Um, Martha Washington. Mm. Oh, Marge Simpson. Marge Simpson. Marge Simpson. Yeah. Um, Queen. Uh, oh, a bunch Latifa. of queens. Yeah. All the queens. <laughs> Latifah. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, Catherine the Great. Did from she, Russia. She got her pussy. She she, she got worked out by horses. That's a rumor. Yeah. It's not true. Um. Uh, hmm. Nefertiti. That is, I think, uh, Cleopatra. No, it isn't, you fucking idiot. Isn't that just the same person? It's the same. They were both Queen of Africa. <laughs> They're both. <laughs> that's sh- Nefertiti was like back thousands when, of years back before when Africa Cleopatra. had. But when they were nah, all I'm pretty kings. sure it's the same thing. In no. the Hotep times, when they were all kings. Everyone was Everyone a king. Was a king. You I walked to Africa shit. in the year 8,000. That thing is like, we were all kings, and every king had a bunch of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> had to do whatever he I wanted. love that <laughs> so much. <laughs> Before slavery, we, <laughs> we were kings, and we could cut, we could do any kind of female genital mutilation. <laughs> <laughs> Our crazy minds could come up with. Before the white, before the devil, before the Yakubians invented the, female orgasm. The Yakubians. And devil. <laughs> um, uh, what was I gonna say? There I'm was apparently to think of more some. Women. Nah, that's fine. There was apparently some super rich African king or whatever that had like more riches than anybody or something. Or maybe I've just been. Yeah, Timbuktu. They it was all gold and books. It was called the Library of the World. That's pretty cool. Where every book from Europe came. <laughs> no, this is true. From uh, the from Timbuktu mm-hmm. or. Fucking, I don't know. What is Timbuktu? Is that really what Timbuktu is? Yeah, I think I, so. My because even Greek people would talk about Timbuktu. Well, isn't it where Garfield would mail Normal <laughs> when he was annoyed with her? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the origin. <laughs> oh, it's from Garfield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- my in my uh, estimation. Now was Normal a boy? No, Norma was a girl that was just like annoying. And Garfield, Are you sure? Garfield's gay, so instead of fucking uh, Norma, I was gonna say if it's a girl, why didn't Garfield get top? Yeah, I was always that was uh, my number one question as a kid is like, 
Garfield's this fat bitch. <laughs> I know, dude. Who's get, mm-hmm. just hates his friend John, hates Odie's mean to him, and finally you get a chance to get some pussy. Some pussy pie. And you're tricking that bitch into getting into a box so you can <laughs> <laughs> probably kill her. He's clearly gay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're smart enough to, as a cat to know how the post system works <laughs> mm-hmm. to send international mail, yes, you would think you would learn how to, you know. Wait, wait a second. How to get some purse. Jason Marsden played Minermal. David Eggenberg. Maybe this is a man. Wow. Nermal was Gray Garfield. What the fuck is this? I typed in Normal Garfield, and the first thing that comes up is this 1,000% Garfield Garfield Lego that cost $455. Mm. That sounds awesome. You should buy it. I you mean, I kind of want to. Dude, Normal is a fucking boy, dude. That's why. Is is Normal? Yeah, boy? Normal was introduced as a kitten belonging to John's parents, but now he's just a neighborhood cat. Oh, yeah. Which usually results in Garfield trying to ship him to Abu Dhabi. Not Abu even Dhabi. Not even Ooh, Timbuktu. But that's for the banking. It's fucked up, though, because Normal did look like a girl. Yeah, it's got big eyelashes, and it had like a girl's mm-hmm. voice. Maybe Normal was trans. That's weird. Maybe that, Normal I always hasn't thought, come out of the closet. I always thought trans. Peppermint Patty from Peanuts was a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and Friends. There was no pussy. There's no girl cat. There had to be. Oh yeah, there was a Arlene. This is normal voice. It's supposed to be a little boy. Because normal at first was a was a uh, was a was a kitten. No, that's a woman. That's a woman. I know, dude. But they use ladies to to voice little boys. Like Bobby Hill is, is voiced by Pamela yeah, Adlon. And the suggested videos is that puppet class sketch from SNL, which is like. Still, might be one of my favorite sketches of all time. What, what is sketch it? is that? It was like it's from the Bill Hader era, which is the only sketch I even remember seeing. It's just like th- this class where they do an intro- introduction of puppeteering, where like people make their own puppets. Oh, I haven't seen the that. Puppets one. all kind of look like them, but yeah. So they have make puppets. With Seth MacFarlane. So they're all like mostly normal, but then Bill Hader plays this like Vietnam vet. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That sketch is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I fuck with Anthony going. Peter Coleman. Oh yeah. Only private first class. <laughs> United States Army. Dishonorable discharge. May Dishonorable. 19th, 1983. Okay, and Anthony, what is your puppet's name? Tony. <laughs> and can we? <laughs> Go ahead. Tell him what happened. <laughs> there was a rebel village five clicks down the road. <laughs> came down from top grass. Make it disappear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That That's sketch good is stuff. Great. Bill Hader rules, dude. Yeah. Is Barry's it, good as is fuck. Is a click a mile? I think a kilometer. It's a kilometer. I would guess. I'm gonna start using click. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you, you should are. use all sorts of like tactical uh yeah. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you know, tactical measurements. Not me, man. Saying Papa Bravo. I don't know what it is. I had a friend that was a captain in the army that explained it to me one time. <laughs> Papa Bravo? It's something it has to do with some like grid orientation or mm. it's like when you call he was like an artillery officer, so he knew all that shit and he mm-hmm. overheard it in some piece of media and he's like, That's not how that works. Mm. And he uh, everyone's eyes glazed over as he of explained. Course. Shut up. No one likes a military He's, nerd. Yeah. You're, that's being two gay things. Mm-hmm. You, you're, you're military. You're cool because, you, you know, you're an alpha at least. Or you're a nerd and you're smart. Mm-hmm. Well, did you but fart, t- bro? I might have. But no, you I t- said family. <laughs> yeah, dude, that family from fucking Portland <laughs> is back. Damn. Have you guys ever fucked like an anime type bitch? Yeah. You have? Like a cosplay type I didn't mean shit? have you fucked an Asian woman. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I fucked. I fucked a couple girls that were like, a, like autistic ones, or just like. Or do you mean like, hot that girls like, that would wear like, that like wear cosplay shit to cons and stuff? Ooh. Back in when I was going to techno a lot, I fucked a couple <laughs> of those girls. What's techno? When I was going out to you know the club to the club. <laughs> Back in my DC days, did you ever fucking? Did you ever fuck anybody in a costume? 
Um, no, just with a with a bunny tail butt plug. Hmm, not, and you had it in your ass. It was in my ass. <laughs> I thought you were asking if I was in a costume. <laughs> you had it in your ass, and she's making you suck a carrot. Yeah, it's in her pussy, but you don't get to touch. Well, she had a carrot strapped on. Hmm. I remember there was a bitch who would wear a tail to the call center I worked at. Hell yeah. In her asshole? Like around the office. Yeah. I mean, that's as bad as in her asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, those raccoon tails were around for a while. Yeah. My name's Trixia Vixen. It's like your name's Sarah. (laughs) Sarah Beth. (laughs) Don't, like, I'm not calling you that. Mm -hmm. You're not not trans. (laughs) That's not a gender. There's nothing in the fucking the HR department does not care. It says about I this. have to respect this. You like are not you're not gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck away from me. Mm-hmm. Please take your disgusting microwave lunch into the bathroom. There's a video. <laughs> there's, there's a, a video. Guy, there was a guy at that call center that would play Nintendo DS. Yeah. You'd bring the DS, and he was this like ogreish, big fat guy, an mm-hmm. autistic, but like one of like the, there's a type of autistic guy that just has like a. Kind of like this speech impediment and a like a slight New Jersey accent. <laughs> you know, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like yeah. I don't. And like he would just sit there like emotionless. In Texas, right? Yeah, and he would uh, he would just play. You come into the break room, mm-hmm. and you would have to like angle your body so there's no way you could even remotely make eye contact <laughs> yeah. with him because he would just stare at you. He would sit at like one of the. They had like booth seating, and he would just stare at you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like made eye contact with him just for a half second, be like, "Have you ever heard of Nintendo DS?" <laughs> 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 yeah, Damn, dude, <laughs> that is awesome. And he would just talk to you about it, <laughs> just not giving a iota of a fuck whether you're interested yeah. at all. Now I remember I, w- I walked in there one time, and there there was like there would be occasionally be like a hot girl to work there. And I remember oh, there yeah, was I one fucked time, her. yeah, there was one time there was this girl talking. And she was like, "Oh, okay, cool," you know. And he's like talking to her, and I was just like laughing so hard, imagining that he just <laughs> fucked every woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, do you want to get yeah, out of here? Do you want to after this? Do you want to come over to my apartment and talk about Nintendo <laughs> DS? <laughs> I guess. Cool. Yeah, that sounds memes. fun. Sure. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Nintendo DS, right? <laughs> Did you see that video on Twitter of like? A guy coming out to his mom by showing her his fursona. Like, no. showing her his, like, furry suit. Like, yeah, and then the mom put the suit on, and people are like, kill this bitch and her <laughs> son or whatever. Like, I never understood the, like, furry hatred. People like, hate It's lame, them. but it's yeah. like, so what? There's yeah, so cares? much lame shit in the world. Yeah. Yeah, there's I mean, definitely like a backlash. The, the fetish is weird, but it's also, like, it's a hobby that they put a lot of effort into right. making that It's constant. one thing if you're just getting fucked. In a weird manner, fine. Yeah. But then you're just like not hard stitching like your raccoon suit <laughs> to yeah. like look forward to getting f- fucked in it or whatever. I think that if anyone it's finds what it is that makes them bust, it's we should just be like, that's cool. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, <laughs> except if it's a kid. Well, you didn't say that at first. Uh, well, I Jeffrey didn't. Jeffrey okay. Adam Friedland Epstein. <laughs> J E S baby, or J. I was talking with like I was talking with uh with Max about this a couple months ago. But like, can you imagine if like you're one of those guys that gets off on giganticism, like yeah. a guy that like w- like the thing uh, that makes 50 him bust, fifty foot tall woman. Yeah, the th- that's the thing that ultimately he wants. You want to be put in a and it can't exist in the real world. Yeah, but I mean, for the most part, people's fantasies are like, you know, like Stav's thing is like. You know, what, masturbating to a video of a guy with literally a medically small penis. <laughs> <laughs> fantasize. Well, there's yeah. women p- in it is also. U- I'm not looking at his penis. In which he has a big penis. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll never exist. It'll never happen. That's I true. guess that is. A, I never, guess that it does not exist in the, the real world. It will world. never be an authentic experience he can have. Well, I've fucked women with very tiny pussies and it feels about the same. Yeah, that's nice. freaks, right? That is pretty cool. We should shame them for their no, small pussies. No. Just like we're It's pretty for cool. Our tiny People dicks. don't talk about how it's cool it is to have a little pussy. I do. I agree. I think it's really cool. Are you talking am, tight or shallow? Like, yeah, just honestly, it looked like you photo like you selected a pussy on Photoshop and just like made it oh, you're like not talking 50% about the smaller. And the inside. It was shallow and tight. It was just like 
small, dude. It was awesome. Was it a child? No, it was a, it was a grown woman. And she was like kind of tall. I was shocked, actually. Yeah. Well, it's like Elvis. Exactly. Big, tall guy. I mean, she wasn't really that small. Tall. She wasn't 6'6". Six, six. She <laughs> wasn't 6'3". Six, <laughs> I fucked a 6'3 woman with a fucking a barely an open pussy. Interesting. No. Can we put that that pic, that live photo, no, man. back on the thread? Don't even tell anybody that it exists. Well, we're, we'll we're not going to show it to strangers. We'll get hacked. They'll hack our There is an off. awesome picture of Eldis's penis. <laughs> and it's a live photo. And, and well, it's a knows. funnier picture so of his s- ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah his so flat ass. So you see, ass. he realizes his penis is being photographed, and then he runs away, and it's <laughs> just cottage cheese ass. Yeah. Just, well, it's just bouncing. He's such a large dude that, like, the amount of, like, inertia it takes to get the rest of his body to move, so you see his face reacting, <laughs> and then it just, like, takes a while for all of this weight to shift, like a I freight love train it, stopping. Bro. I love it. What Did I show legend. you guys the other video where he tried? He was like, "Dude, Sume is doing something funny." Like he tried to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He clearly, oh, is she is she doing? Yeah. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He You're clearly tried man. to show me his penis, and I was like, "Oh, really?" And I just walked in with my camera, <laughs> and he's fully nude. <laughs> <laughs> just and he's like, oh, and he does the same thing. He tries to like run. Fuck, where is that? I just want to look at it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny having a good time with your boys. Oh yeah, especially when it involves mm. gay chicken. The blue collar comedy guys used to do that. There's uh, numerous stories of them just all being naked with each other in the, <laughs> the tour bus. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy would come out, and Bill Ingvall would be like, "I think something's wrong with the the smoker." <laughs> And then Jeff Fox, where they would come into the living room in the tour bus, and Bill Engvall would be all on all fours <laughs> holding his anus open. Yeah. <laughs> and Jeff Fox, where the unbeknownst to Bill Engvall, had gotten completely hard mm-hmm. sucking off of Ron White <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> right. So While he was holding he, the scotch. Yeah. So he's like, oh, uh, let, is it the smoker's messed up? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, he runs out and he's already fucking Bill Engvall in his <laughs> yeah. ass. Before yeah, Bill Engvall knows what's react. going on. And he's oh, like, oh. come on, man, stop. He's like, you might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> if like, I'm a fucking you yeah, in your yeah, ass you right now, a red, and they all chant, "You might be a redneck," <laughs> while Jeff Fox or the fuck spilling ball in the ass. As that's, he's that's as he's getting collar, spit dude. roasted that's by a, that's Ron a White. Collar. Those are the guys. Honestly, male friendship is a special and beautiful thing. Either those guys vote for Bernie Sanders or they vote for Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. There's no other options. No, that's sir. true. No siree. Mm-hmm. Damn, my my friend was at a wedding with Bing, Bill Engvall. He said, um, not, you know, nothing interesting about it, but it was uh, in a field in Utah, if anyone's interested. You know, I I probably, this is a little tidbit, tidbits uh, coming in, uh, but Jennifer Lawrence was yeah, the daughter. Yeah, everyone knows that. All uh, right. On the Bill Engvold show. On the show. Bill Engvold show. Not really that much of a tidbit, man. Yeah. It's a famous actress that played a role. Before she was famous. Damn, I need to eat dinner. Yeah, I'm tired, bro. Yeah, the once, once. I mean, my body's already getting ready for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, I'm so excited, dude. What are you gonna? What are we working with? You think? Um, I'll probably get a pizza and play Luigi's Mansion all day. <laughs> <laughs> are you in town? <laughs> <laughs> Traditional Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Are you in town? What do you mean for Thanksgiving? New York. What do you mean in town? Are you staying in New York? Oh, yeah, oh, I won't be leaving my apartment. Do you want you want to watch Ice Cube? No. Nice. It almost felt like you were going to invite him to do something. Oh, no, I, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know if Icy could be here with the cat. Anymore. I don't know what my plans are. I might, I might go down to Maryland. Might <coughs> not. I have some shit I got to take care of. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, this like shirt business stuff. I'm trying to figure out the hammer out the last details with. Also, yeah, if you bought a shirt, those should be... I've finished all of the single shirt orders. This is going to the post office tonight. Hell yeah. Anybody that ordered more than one shirt, there was about 180 of those so orders. I've been, like, working through those. And the, Damn. Those take a little bit longer because you got to, like, pick and pack most of them. So those should be out by the end of the week. And then uh, I have... Like, I've been... It's still, like, trying to hammer out the details with the print shop itself. Mm-hmm. So they do fulfillment? Yeah, they'll just send stuff directly because the volume's high enough now that it's like it's not like drop shipping. I already know the quality of the product. I trust them to handle like fulfillment and stuff. Yeah, and like that'll alleviate the issue of 
Oh yeah, it's running out of fucking stock immediately. It'll speed Over. things up for you. You'll have to do less. Yeah, People get and, shit easier. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. The, but they'll be able to do things like I accidentally in the last shipment, like a couple of those like Richard Gear medium shirts were just women's sizes, <laughs> and like you know they like there's no reason not to just offer women's versions of the same shirts, especially if they already have the fucking blanks sitting there. Right. So for sure. yeah, there'll be women's sizes. Are you out of Richard designs. Gears right now? I'm completely out. They sold out in like fucking ten minutes. What do you have? <laughs> I, I don't know. I gotta wait until I go through all the orders. I mean, like once everything's packed up. But yeah, <coughs> yeah you gotta get someone to fucking do that shit for you. Was like seven hundred, six or seven hundred shirts, and uh-huh. there was like five hundred orders. And if like a hundred of those orders are like two, probably nothing. Probably have like, yeah, maybe I don't know, twenty shirts left over. Uh-huh. Yeah. So go to come downtown, buy that shit. I'm also maybe by the time you're listening to this. I will have announced, but the 2020 Stoppy Baby calendars are coming out soon, folks. You should announce now. It's right around the corner. So get them, bitches. Buy, you know, look out for them. I'm gonna. I'm hopefully they will be on sale by Black Friday. So you will have some shit to get people for Christmas. Get them my dick and balls. That's a good present. Get, also, get your bitch my dick and balls for Christmas. <laughs> also, we only have three more funny moms left of the year. Tomorrow, the 25th of November. And then we're going to be doing the 9th and then the 16th of mm-hmm. December. We'll be off for, for Christmas, Christmas and New, New Year's. Year's. Right? Are we? Yeah. I yeah, so. I don't want to do that shit. Maybe New... Is it New Year's or is it the 30th? The 30th. But I think I have to be at a lesbian wedding in Philadelphia then. You're, ma- you're getting married? No, it's someone else's lesbian wedding. Bitch mm-hmm. ass. Adam and Rachel Maddow are getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Beach ass motherfucker. Um, uh, if you're listening to this and it's come out before the show, come to Nashville, but probably come to see me at Baltimore for oh, Thanksgiving we could weekend. We do the 23rd Maybe. and do like a because it's Hanukkah on the 23rd. We could do no, like a Christmas no, Hanukkah show. No, if it's Hanukkah, no. Why? Because you observe Hanukkah. I Look, observe Hanukkah. I'm gonna say this uncritically, objectively. Yes, fuck Nick. Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not. I can't. This I can't. I don't celebrate Hanukkah. I can't do it because it's it's the Greeks uh, or the didn't the, didn't. The oh yeah, Jews, the Greeks lost. The Greeks lost. So yeah, it's offensive too. It's you. a day of mourning for my people. <laughs> it's your it's your Yom Hashoah. It's your Holocaust remembrance. It day. is our Yom Hashoah. <laughs> Um, it's okay. our dome, Hashem. So, oh, it's my Sharona. We'll, dis- <laughs> it's, it's, we'll yeah. discuss. Are, coming, are we having a my Sharona dinner? Are you coming over? <laughs> <laughs> we'll um, discuss the twenty third, but definitely the ninth and the sixteenth of December. You know we're having funny moments out there of like some fucking like cantor at a synagogue doing a. Uh, uh, Rosh Hashanah, My Sharona parody. <laughs> there has to be. They love parody songs. Da, 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 da. Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> and then they made everyone do it. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> uh, come to Fat Tuesdays this Tuesday. Music should be taken away. Got our boy Ian Fidance come on the show if you want to see Christians him. should not be allowed to make music. I agree. Jews neither. Well, some gospel's pretty good, actually. What are you talking about? Jews made every Christmas song. They should not, not. Yeah, Christmas music sucks. They're some of the most famous songs. I know for reasons like unrelated to what about Leonard sonic Cohen? Quality. There's no no music. And no I mean, Jews. I, first of all, I don't mean Jews as people shouldn't be able to make. What music. about George Gershwin? There should be no Jewish music. George Gershwin. There should be no Christian. Oh, music. I agree. I agree with that. That's why. Islam has the correct answer, which is oh, you go to hell for making music. Yeah, well, but you're they, only they, allowed they to sing. play with they a. They do have a cool chants. Sing and dance. A drum accompaniment. I told you about that. There was that Pakistani guy that. What happened? It just keeps lighting up. I don't know. There's that Pakistani guy that worked at that cell phone kiosk, who would like do pop and locking stuff, <laughs> and then the the like uh, Iranian man who is the father of the guy that owned the the cart came one time and he was like, "You're a bad Muslim." For dancing, <laughs> and you are a disgrace. And he was like pouting, and he's all upset. He's like, he said, "I'm a bad Muslim because I like dancing." He's like, "I don't care. I'm not afraid of anyone but God." <laughs> he's like, "That's I mean, right." This, like brother. weird, intense Muslim moment about whether or not he should be allowed to dance at work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. damn, that's crazy. I don't really have a dog in this fight. I don't but. give a fuck whatsoever, <laughs> but. I tell you what, it's funny to it watch. It is funny to watch you. Yeah, let them fight. <laughs> let them t- let them eat each other like dogs. All right, folks. Um, I think that's the show. Yeah, come to Fat Tuesdays on Tuesdays at the stand, and come see me in Baltimore. Uh, 
Black Friday and the Saturday of Thanksgiving at Ooh. Joe Squared. And I'm also going to be in Houston on the 13th. And I got more dates coming up. I'm going to I'm not going to go to Austin and Dallas. I don't think that trip, but I think I think in January I'll at least be in Dallas and maybe Oklahoma City. I'm still I'm figuring it out, but I'm trying to be on the road heavily. So, uh keep your little pussy pussies perked for that. You fucking sluts. All right. <laughs> That's the show. That's the show. 